Hi, and in this video I want to demonstrate how to use fields in AutoCAD to help populate a title block. So in this example we have a title block and at the moment the entries here are all M text so you have to manually input these on every single title block. So I'm going to set it up so these are already populated every time you create a new tab or a new drawing. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the drawing number. Now the drawing number, the way I work, is the drawing number I call what the tab is of the paper space. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to edit this bit of text first of all. Now I'm going to delete the text and I'm going to right click and do insert field. Okay. Now to get the tab name in there in the field dialog box you can come down and select other and then system variable and then you need to look for the C tab variable and then I use title case and it actually defaults so it tells shows you what the output's going to be and then I'm going to OK that and close the text editor as you can see it's now put the text in it's got a grey background that indicates it's a field so if I was to come down here and rename this field to something like 999-01 and I regenerate the drawing put up in regen you can see it updates quite nicely <coughs> now, the other thing it can do it can populate the scale for you so this this top block has a viewport which is this so what I'm going to do is edit this scale text I'm going to delete the 1 to 50 then I'm going to right click and insert another field so in the field category you're looking for objects and object and the object type and then this little icon here you can select objects so you click that and you come out and you select the viewport it says viewport there type of object has been selected then I want to come down here and select custom scale and then in the format I use 1 to hash and then it only says previewing it 1 to 50 so OK that close the text editor and now you can see the scale of this viewport is 1 to 50. Now if I change the scale to say 1 to 100, we generate the drawing and you can see it's updated the scale to 1 to 100. So whatever that viewport is scaled to, it'll be reflected in the title block in there. So that's great. Now these areas here, the client and the project title, I want to automate. So every time I copy a tab across and create a new drawing, these will already be populated for me. The drawing title, I always leave that as a free text uh, because each drawing is different, so I have to edit that. Same with the date, I could, I could put a field in for the date, um, but I like to leave that because sometimes it changes uh, or I can use a, a date that I feel I need to use. So I'm going to concentrate on these two, the client and the project title. So the way I work is I set up parameters within the drawing uh, or properties. So the command I use is dwg props. Now this gives you properties of this particular dwg file. That tells you all about it, where it is, etc, etc. Now I go to the custom section. I'm going to add some custom properties. First one I'm going to add is the client's name, the default value, I'm just going to call it name. Add another one, the client's address 1, because it's line 1, value, I'm just going to put an X, and continue again client's address 2 
and there's three lines so we'll add another one X I can see how I'm going with this so I'm going to add project one project and add another one project two just give it an X project three and project four so now I've set up individual values for everything I want in this drawing so now what I can do I can edit these now to be fields so I come into this I'm going to delete the name then again I'm going to right click insert field now in this case I'm going to choose document and you can see there's some other fields you can use subject title and things like that but these are the custom ones I've created just now so the first one is the name so the clients name okay that and then I go through uh, address one you can see the X comes up because that's what I defaulted the field to be set a field address two and so on insert field address three close now I can come in here and do exactly the same insert field project one so there's just the line numbers insert field line two three and finally oh close the text editor and that is essentially it so what I can do now if I go back to my DWG properties I can change these now so I change that to me address one two three anywhere uh, any town any postcode and the project I could call this uh, single story area extension And let's just say I'm doing a loft conversion as well for this client. Okay, that if I regenerate, you can see it's been populated. And those that, that information is now set to this particular DWG file. So now I can come in here, create a new drawing. I'm going to call that dash o2 I can do another one say so dash o3 so now I come to here so this is the original one I made dash o1 I come to here all this is all updated perfect the scales Okay, the drawing numbers changed. If I go to 03, it's changed. Okay, so I can carry on add more and more, and this is updated now. If at some point there's an error, I want to change some of this, for example. Uh, so I go to DWG props again, and let's say, oh, I spelt the client's name wrong, and I've got 10 drawings, say 10 tabs, and I've got, oh, I have to change more. No, I don't come in here his name's actually John not Mike 
actually John Mike is name for example okay that now if I regenerate the drawing John Mike John Mike and John Mike and that is how you use fields in a title block